It's about to go down. Look at that beautiful sun, y'all. So it takes me like 10, 15 minutes to climb up here because I'm afraid of heights. I'm getting more and more confident about it. But I finally get up here, right? <laughs> then I realize my stomach hurts. I can't do it, y'all. It's too hot out here. It's like 93 degrees in uh, in Virginia today, man. God. My fat ass out there, freaking sweating, icing and caramel. Went from winter right over to summer. Y'all got y'all sin too much. That's what it is. I'm not trying to preach. Whatever happened to kindness, man? People not being good at each other. That's why shit like this happens. I'm not even playing right now. You got people not being nice to each other. Skinny people making fun of fat people. Rich people don't even tip midget dancers no more. Might have to start over, man. I'm, instead of building a bus, I might build a Bolo's Ark. Wipe all shit out. Take two cans of Coke with me. Two box of Popeyes. Two tubes of cock in case it leaks. Two thick chicks. <laughs> Man, guys, it's too damn hot to work, dude. <laughs> Got my head all messed up, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just wait till the sun goes down a little bit. I went to go paint my roof and protect it, and um, I have to return what I bought. Tenry's aluminum fiber sealant. It's great for aluminum metals and things like that. Um, but not for moving objects. It's great for sheds, garages, and so on. I That was $22 a gallon. I'm actually, I was trying to avoid using the Henry um, Tropical um, because it's so damn expensive. I'm actually gonna have to order the Henry Tropical um, because they don't have it at my store. The Henry's Tropical comes in a 4.75 um, gallon, which is like over 240 bucks. Um, they do have a smaller version, the um, Tropical 887 HS, which is a high solid. So the two that I see a lot of people doing is the Tropical, which is what I just discussed, and your, um, what the hell is it called? Um, Eviro White, the Amer Elastic. Um, I'll put the caption up. I think I'm saying that fucking word wrong. Uh, roofing um, coating. So that there is made of um, acrylic and um, resin and I forget what, one, one other thing. Um, and it's much cheaper. Like the 4.75 gallon, um, their uh, Viro White um, 687 is the name. Um, it's $122 per 4.75 gallon. The Tropical 4.75 gallon number 887 is the 260 some dollars, um, which is 100% silicone. I personally don't like the elastomeric because um, it's thicker. Um, so once it dries, it's kind of chalky and um, so just imagine like leaving a can of paint out to let it dry for a while and then you stick your hand in there and you pull out a big glob. That's what that is. Um, but the silicone for the Tropical is silicone. It's 100% silicone. As it dries, um, it's a lot smoother. The silicone is a lifetime warranty, if I recall correctly. And your uh, Elastomeric is a 12-year warranty on how long it lasts. What I've done in the past with the Elastomeric uh, I used to help out cleaning. Um, most of the time, you got to, most of the time, not all the time, you have to peel a little bit of it off that gets chalky and kind of ruined. So before you can apply new stuff, um, at least that's what we used to do. Um, whereas the silicone, um, you just take a power wash or two and then you just do another coat. My particular um, bus, there's two rub rails up top. Um, about four feet apart from each other, running down all the way towards the back. Um, I guess that's just if you're on the roof, you stand on those. Um, so I, it has little ridges, and I, I put a lot of cock up there. Um, 
so this should fill in pretty pretty well with that i'm going with the um tropical um like i said uh, the one gallon the h uh the hs the 887 h hs um which is built more for my roof and because it's only a gallon um so i'll wait for that to come in and i'll hit that up okay so i thought about it and um i wasn't gonna address this until later because um i was gonna use um black cock to um finish up my trim on my windows because paint i didn't want to put cock on and then paint my windows and uh, how to trim and then have to worry about painting it black back to black again so but i thought about it and it, it kind of serves you guys know uh, good um if you if 30 episodes from now you guys still see me fixing leaks um so I'm gonna go ahead and just do it now. Show you one window of each. My last two water issues. I'm just gonna hit and attack one window, one rear window and one side window just to show you guys um, what the other water issue is. So you see that little gap there? It's because since it's old and it's, it's the weather's beat it up quite a bit, it starts to curl and come away from the window, from the, uh, from the, the, the body. Well, it's pretty bad up there between the glass the gasket and the body where well, it's like that pretty much all around so when the water gets up there on that track it starts to come here and then some make it in some not when it gets down to here some gets in um that's what i'm addressing this i guess gasket or whatever i think it's silicone that they put on previously look how look how easy that is to take off that's another pot uh, potential for water issues, um, which I'm probably getting. So this is between the glass and the gasket. And then the gasket and the body are two separate issues. Um, on the inside, it's pretty bad also, because I guess the water, once it gets inside, it, it damaged the inside area also. So what I'm gonna do is peel this back and stick my car gun in there and just hit it all the way around, let it ooze out, and then I'm gonna clean it up. That's why I have tape on here. And then I'm gonna do the inside track also. I'm just gonna tuck it in there real good, guys. And I'm just gonna let it fill up by itself. And as it flaps back down, it'll push whatever it doesn't need back out. It's really hard to do with one hand. So I'm gonna come back to you guys. I'm letting the excess stuff ooze out because I needed to fill it in um, the gasket where it's curving at. I don't want to push down on it because then once it oozes out, it's just going to flat back up. So I want to fill it in, kind of like filling in a hole. Just going to start there and come on down. I wish I had some use for this excess um, caulk. Maybe I'll put it somewhere so I can use it later. But yeah, basically that's what I'm doing Then I'm going to peel the tape. I filled in, in between the gasket on the gasket and on the inside of the glass where the gasket and the glass meets. Basically just paint it on. Don't do what I do, but this is the only way I knew how to address it. So basically I've added on to make the gasket bigger so that um, it snugs and holds the glass in to the body of the vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and peel it now because I don't want it to sit too long. Otherwise when I'm peeling, it's gonna get all feathery and uh, it won't be pretty. When I peel it, I keep it closed. Oh, motherfucker, you see that gnat? And I just peel away. Nice and slow. Um, I gotta put the camera down, guys. I'm sorry. I saved the last piece here so I can do it with one hand. So I don't really know how to cock, guys. I always cheat. I know you guys heard me. I, as much as I love cock, I always cheat. Oh, might need two hands. Keep going, buddy. I think I can. Oh, yes, sir. I got to clean that up. The blue stuff there is on the inside of the bus. Um, overall, I think it looks pretty decent. Um, only time will tell. But... Pfft. It's gonna stop my leak and that's what I need.
All right. So it looks like a brand new gasket that's shiny and sticky. All right, onto the side window, guys. Onto the side window. Um, I'm only gonna do one for you guys, um, just to show you um, how to address it, how I'm gonna address it. Again, this is all how I do things. It's, it's not necessarily correct, um, but it's the best um, solution for me. Um, it's the easiest and um, cost effective, really. <laughs> You see where the gasket meets the glass? I'm sorry, where the glass meets the gasket to the frame? Well, I've already um, caulked that there when I had this fold issue um, previously. So all I have to do is address the glass with the gasket in, in between. If you see there, so this here is the gasket and this is the inside of the gasket. The inside of the gasket is supposed to be jammed into that framing. Well, with weather and time, it's worked its way loose um, and the water is getting in there. Now, I could show you the water test and pour a cup in there, but I don't want to wait a few days for it to dry out. Um, so all I've done is prep the work. Um, I'm going to do a small bead and, and take my time uh, and get it in there. So I want to get it between the, gas, the glass and the gasket and then the gasket and the metal. See that track there? Actually, this side is actually worse. So, the glass that meets the gasket, the gasket that meets the, the frame. See, see how there's a gap there? It's loose. Well, if I go like this, look how much movement. That shit ain't supposed to move. So, I need to reinforce that, guys. Um, and that's what I'm showing you. Yeah, this one here, big leak. I poured a cup in there and that shit was just pissing in my truck, in my bus. Um, so I'm gonna take care of that. I've shoved the majority of it into where that curve was on both sides. And then I just did a small bead because I'm gonna use my finger to, to clean it up. Yes, I use spit. I'm not gonna board you. Okay, you see how the cock got into that seam? That's what I want. I'm gonna make it look a lot nicer than this. I've already beaded out with my finger. I guess you call it bead. Um, and now I just need to peel the tape. I did get up there as far as I can. Um, I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit because it's on my track for the top window to come down. Um, I could let it dry and let it push down and cut it itself. If you guys do use the tape technique, leave yourself a little flap so when you peel it, take your time. Get off. I gotta clean that up. I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit with a razor. Excuse me, with a razor. Um, I don't wanna mess with it right now, it's gonna get messy. I'm gonna let it dry. Um, same thing in this corner. Look at that sunset. Same thing with this corner, I'm gonna let it dry. Um, this here was just when I was cleaning it, the acetone kinda ate away at my primer. My window's already tinted. Um, tinted, did I say that right? Uh, so it blends in very well. So I'm gonna check my top windows. Um, and then the rest um because if it has issue here it has issue up top and, and i'm being proactive okay i don't normally recap um but this one needs an explanation so you don't normally cock your weather stripping it's basically what it is weather stripping gasket whatever um but we're not doing anything normal here, are we? Um, I figured I go ahead and and add the the caulk to the gasket because if something happens, I gotta whip it all out anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. If the window gets cracked, it'll just be a little bit tough tougher to um to clean up um to take off the the gasket. Um, the back window, there's there's no way around it. Either replace the gasket. Um, pop the window out then you got to pay somebody or you could use that little 
thing that I did. Uh, for your side window, ideally, I didn't listen to my bus. All the signs were there. I mean, I had other um, rubber corrosion issues when I had the, the, the window out. I didn't listen to my bus. I should have fucking noticed it. Um, ideally, you want to do that when your window is out. So if you're at not at this stage yet, when you do have your window out, check around your gasket. Um, add your caulking then or, or fixing then. Um, but I think overall, I'm happy with the, the fix that I did. Um, again, it was cost effective. It was easy. Um, I fucking got cock everywhere on my hand. Anyways, um, but overall, it was pretty easy. Um, and it's a quick fix. So I got my bus turned around um, so I could use the patio there to climb up and down a lot easier. Um, I got my Tropical 887 high solids uh, ready to paint the top of the bus and seal it up. Um, but I gotta climb up on the roof first and clean it, um, the pollen down. Um, every time I clean it, I, it just builds up. So I'm gonna get up there with some water and um, wipe it down. I have my Tropical. Um, it was a clusterfuck. I ordered it through uh, Home Depot online. Um, they fucked up, I didn't get it. Um, so I called and talked to the lady on the other line and she redeemed herself. Um, she was able to locate a local Home Depot store she did a 25 mile radius and it actually turned out there was a store about 17 miles from me uh, which was a good thing um, because $70 and 29 cents I think online um, when I went to the store they had it on the shelf for 55 bucks it wasn't clearance or anything I don't know why but hey I don't give a fuck I said 15 bucks it worked out anyways I went ahead and picked one up one of these um, just because is only a couple bucks. Um, I talked to the guy at the paint department. He shook it up for me, but he honestly told me straight up that it's too thick. The machine doesn't work well with something like that. So I picked one of those up. Um, just waiting for the temperature to go down a little bit, and then I'm gonna jump on the roof. I so I don't have any water at work, so I use that Roundup. It's a four gallon, I think, four or three gallon, and I use two of those blue jugs over there, five gallons, and I take it to my mom's house. And fill it up with water. I swear, man, I can't win with this weather. If it ain't too hot, it's too windy. If it's not too windy, it's raining. If it ain't raining, it's too much pollen. I just spent two hours washing this damn bus again. <laughs> and it's about to freaking storm on me. I literally just finished the last three quarters of the bus and the cloud moves in. I'm not sure if it's gonna pass right over me, but I can't paint the roof, seal off the roof if it's wet. Now if it rains right away and passes, I can use the air compressor to hose down the roof and uh, dry it off. And I, I don't care what time it is, I'll just paint. I'm on top of me roof. See all the seals that I did previously. Every seam has cock. Every rivet has cack where I um, sealed off the roof hatch has plenty of cack same spot there um, so these are the two rails that I was talking about um, that I have that are rigid now typically your ponding is gonna be right here along the rails and especially in these areas um, that's why I don't want to go with elast elastomeric because it's not good for ponding. But yeah, the, these right, this in area, huge um, potential for ponding. In case I don't get to it in time because of the rain or how long it takes to dry, I'm videoing it. So along the top here, you see where my gray is? I'm gonna come over a little bit. I'm gonna tape it off. And that's the area that I'm painting my um tropical tropical on all the way up to the front it's not good for fiberglass and this is where my fiberglass is so that's fine because that's where i'm gonna cut it off anyway so i'm basically doing a long rectangle now i originally wanted to do um all the way down to the side rail um with the entire um tropical um but it's not paintable i asked the um henry's I sent them a message and um, verified it's not paintable like some people think it is. Um, so I don't wanna 
deal with that. Um, I've always wanted my the schoolie to be gray, charcoal, with maybe black trim or extra heavy gray trim. Um, but I didn't want to be the white part of the top to be visible. So I'm probably only going to come down about five rivets down and um, I'm sorry, five rivets up and then you'll, I'll be painting. That's where I'll be uh, sealing. Um, but yeah, it comes in gray, um, but I really, really wanted it that bright white to help with temperature control and um, um, it's a good sealant. So God, I hope, I really hope I can paint tonight, but if not, um, I put this off long enough. I'll come in first thing in the morning if I have to. Um, if, if I don't get any video coverage, guys, y'all hear that? Um, but like, shit, it's coming. So I really don't have to show you how to paint. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to paint, but I wanted you guys to see the concept of what I was doing and why I, I was going with Tropical. Um, shit, I gotta get inside. Look at this. It's coming. Mother trucker. Been a frustrating couple weeks. Um, everything I've ever done to the bus that was outside of demolition has always relied on good temperature. That's why it's taken me so long to get started on the inside. Um, I needed good temperature, good weather to seal off the bus um, before I could do framing. Um, it's taken me forever. I don't regret anything I've done um, But I'm handicapped to good weather um, But the last part was truly the roof um, It's already completely sealed. I just wanted that extra protection and um, Not have to worry about um, it down the road. I promise the next videos um I'll be moving on to the next stage, which is the framing in the interior, um, more so framing. And um, I wanted to dedicate my time to show you guys the importance of framing. Um, I know a lot of people rush it, but it's just as important as seal sealing off the bus, waterproofing the bus, making sure you your structure is good because it's part of your structure. Um, people kind of just kind of show you guys that they framed the, the bus. Um, so I'll be talking about framing in depth and showing you guys in depth on the next video um, why it's important to address certain areas, like even that the size of the wood, um, where you need it, where, where you don't need it, and um, what you can get away with and why I'm doing my framing the way I'm doing it. Um, so it's gonna be really important. I hope you guys look forward to that because um, I'm looking forward to to, um, to putting a home concept into a bus concept. I mean, you guys got to keep in mind, um, I, I keep reminding you guys, you want to build a home, but you're doing it on a bus. So you're base, it's a hybrid. Um, you have to follow t traditional build and chop it up a little bit for a bus. Um, so again, I'm just rambling now. Um, I'm so frustrated, but... Like I said, um, it's going to get better. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited about the next stage. I hope you guys stay along for the ride. Um, I think I'm going to be able to put it together some stuff for you guys that are going to be useful. Um, that's all I got for this one. Uh, I hope you guys do get some good usage out of whatever I am able to piece together for this video. Um, as always, be good. Be good to each other. Your boy Biggs loves you. Um, I'll see y'all on the flip side. Your boy Biggs out. Deuces.